All right. <laughs> Big money. Holy shit, the floor's opening up. Atlas. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. This episode is so crazy on got a lot of shit going on that never ends. So, to recap a little bit, we killed Felix playing as hang on. Playing as Fiona, because we had that one pistol bullet and we shot him because he was betraying us by taking the ten million dollars. And he's dead, and also the ten million dollars blew up in the briefcase because it was the same self-destruct feature on it. And now we're kind of just making our... We've gone criminal now. Everyone's criminals. We've got no money to retain back to Hyperion. Let's continue and see what is next. I have no clue what the plan is here. Hey! Oh, that's right. Reese fell into a hole. <laughs> Reese, Are you dead? If you're dead, say something! <laughs> if you're dead, say something. <laughs> That's it, the loader bot came back and made an aim. Fine. Totally meant to do that. A hole in the ground uh, and I good. fell through. Because it doesn't look like there's a safe way down to help you. So figure a way out of there. What's down there? I don't know. What is down here? A server room? So, as well, guys, I just want to remind you that we made a loader bot self-destruct earlier on and it said it would store it in its memory and now this new loader bot is here. I think he may have the same memory and he knows we killed one to save our own ass. so hopefully he is not a crazy revenge machine. Okay, look at old Atlas tech. We've got that. We've also got Atlas weapon parts. Let's look at that. Uh, there's a bunch of old Atlas prototype stuff, some tech... Like a few weapons. And Where? <laughs> She's a weapons um, fanatic. She loves the stuff. Too dangerous, huh? She seems to have gotten over. Um, what's his name? Felix's death. Pretty quick. She's happily. No way. <laughs> the Atlas Silver. Ah, one of the rarest SMGs on Pandora. These models were never even released. Neat. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. So we're getting kitted out of here, I guess, with weapons. Oh, hey! A retro Atlassio! I thought these things were just a rumor! Is that look, a watch? Look, 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 It tells time, and it's a calculator. <laughs> Give me a math problem. Give me Is a math problem. Is it worth problem. a lot of money? We could sell it, sort yeah. Of. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not $10 million worth, but, oh man, to the right people. Atlas tech in mint condition like this is worth a hell of a lot to collectors. Some Hyperion execs buy it just to put it on their trophy shelves and gloat. <laughs> and unreleased prototypes at that. I mean, who knows what this is worth? Sweet. All right, Sasha. Let's grab what we can and get out of here. Quickly. Don't tell anyone those bandits will be back. We better do the same, Reese. Okay, there's another button to press. What's behind this one? Would you like to do the honor? I think it'll be a car. That's my guess. It's the last one. It's only right for us both to reveal it. I mean, that's the best part. Yeah. That's what yeah, we really need. A new vehicle. That. That's def... I'm, it's going to be a big... Big truck. Car. All right. <laughs> big money. Holy shit. The floor's opening up. Atlas. Um, okay. Not what I expected. Two pieces of a puzzle looking thing. What is that? What happens when you connect Reset. them? Identification required. So, <laughs> is it just me or does that look incredibly valuable? Yeah. And there's two of them, so I don't have to stab you. That's a bonus. I call the bigger half. What is that though? Pick up core, pick up core. Why is that one? Am I is that like she's gonna pick up that one, he's gonna pick up that one. I get to choose who picks it up first. I think Reese can handle a shock if he gets shocked <laughs> or something. Fiona. I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? Let's just pick it with him.
I said he'd be able to f um, deal with the shock because he's a bit cyborg, not because he's a man. If anyone's thinking I'm sexist. So she's picking it up next. What is it? No idea. Well, we got what we came for. So let's go. Okay. They magnet it magnetized to each other. What's it gonna hey, do? Vaughn, can you see if there's a crowbar lying around? We're gonna have to try to pry these apart before we Is that like a treasure map? Oh my god, what is this leading us to? That is the Is that a map? So she's the crazy outfit. I got the voices in my head again. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gordis Project. Ah. And it's gonna lead us to a vault. Not Jack? And then I'll probably kill you. Huh? <laughs> That's what Zero was looking for as well. He got off though because he couldn't find it. So, you lost a vault key. Which was never real. Right. Then you lost the money. Well, technically, we found it. <laughs> but then it blew up. Sure. But at the end of all that, you discover the Gordis Project, which is all about opening a vault. Right. That's very convenient. Uh, not really. I mean, one way or another, everything on Pandora is leading you to a vault. I'd actually uh, agree with her on that. A rarity, I'm sure. So... What happened next? Uh, well... Ah, okay. These... I'm very, very, very impressed by this Borderlands. I didn't think it would be much because I'm not a fan of this the series, the franchise, but this is so much fun. And it's telling a really good story. Okay, so that's the end of the episode. It didn't actually show any spoilers really as well for the end of it. It just showed a few flashes of people being startled, which is no near, nowhere near a surprise of what happens in this <laughs> this game from what we've played so far. So here we go. You and 56% of players grabbed August's hand. That's when he was touching the fake vault key. You and 80, 86% let Shade accompany you. That's the crazy guy in, in the vent with the same, the rocket cigarette. And you and 35% of players shot Felix. Not many of us shot Felix. Holy shit. So you and 41% of players took the Psycho Mask. Yeah. I took it because it was free more than anything. <laughs> I didn't. I feel like cash is could be used at a better point somewhere in the series. So with Reese, what we did here, we... Oh no, not many of us made the bot destruct. I feel like that's, that's my biggest regret that I've made. 85% of players trusted Sasha. Okay, you and 91% chose Vaughn. Chose Vaughn. What does that mean? Oh, I mean, it's when um, Vasquez was on the phone and he was telling us to rat him out. We chose not to because we're loyal to Vaughn. That's, yeah, most people would choose that. You and 21% of players picked the machine gun and grenades. Machine. When did we pick that? I think that was when everything was on the ground. Maybe. And I just picked the first thing that was next to me because I thought we could loot it all, but it turns out that that was like a choice thing. <laughs> and I had no idea. I think that's what that's from. And at the bottom here, the loader bot was willing to sacrifice his mechanical life for yours. Ultimately, he either left in peace, in peace or in pieces. Right. So I'm guessing at the bottom there, it would tell you every time a character who is on your alliance would disappear. Or be dead, whatever. So I'm guessing that's his end right there. He could have carried on, I guess, in the future. Although there is a loader bot with us now. I think it's a different one. Hopefully he doesn't share the same memory core. Because <laughs> that would be very bad. Because <laughs> he would know that we killed him. So guys, yeah, that is the end. I freaking loved this. This is so good. This the Telltale Games are getting so good at making these now. You can just see it through every game they've made. The action in this for a kind of point-and-click game with um, 
quick time events and all that, you feel so involved. And it's on the edge of your seat with just the action. It's so good. Because it's so unpredictable as well, because it is Borderlands and it is crazy. All right, I'm guessing the next one's probably going to be out in a month or something. That's normally what Telltale Games do do. Do do here <laughs> in their games when they release episodes. And also we've got Game of Thrones coming as well and put in next month, most likely. I'm guessing they'll come out Borderlands and Game of Thrones similar times. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, the next game I'm probably going to play is Dying Light. It comes out at the end of December. I think either at the end of December or start of January. And that is a zombie like survival game with free running. It's kind of like Mirror's Edge mixed with Dead Island, if you can imagine those two games combined. It looks pretty good. I, I like the look of it. it. It'll be a nice change to an action game again because the last two games I have played have both been Telltale Games games. And they have got, like, you know, no physical straight to the action involvement at all choices. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.